Capital Asset Pricing Model, or the abbreviation is CAPAM, is a model used to estimate our expected return or our cost of equity. Therefore, the formula is pretty easy, which is the risk-free rate plus the market risk premium or equity risk premium. So, our formula will be our expected return, which is the same as cost of equity, which is RE. It's equal to risk-free rate, which is RF, and this is RF refers here to what? This is refers to our risk-free rate, and this risk-free rate is the US Treasury bond, for example, which means bonds issued by the government. Plus beta. What do you mean by beta? This is the return sensitivity of my stock to the changes in the market return, which is the return of the entire index. Multiplied by, open bracket, the market return, which is the return of the entire market of the index, minus our risk-free rate, which is the treasury bond. So, in this formula, we start here with the risk-free rate plus the market risk premium. So, the only trick here is RM minus RF is called what? It's called the market risk premium or equity risk premium, which means we could rewrite this formula as our expected return or cost of equity equal risk-free rate plus beta multiplied by market risk premium. Let's apply the CAPAM formula on a couple of questions. Calculate the company's cost of equity. If the company's stock beta is 1.5, the risk-free rate is 4%, and the expected market return is 10%. So let's start with the variables. Which variables do we have? We have beta equal to 1.5, the risk-free rate is 4%, and market return is 10%. So let's write the CAPAM formula. Our expected return or risk Cost of equity is equal to risk-free rate plus beta multiplied by open bracket market return minus risk-free rate. Let's substitute. Our expected return or cost of equity is equal to 4% plus 1.5, which is the beta multiplied by open bracket, which is the market return 10% minus risk-free rate 4%. This will give us our expected return or cost of equity equal to 13%. Another question is, calculate the company's cost of equity. If the company's stock beta is 1.2, the risk-free rate is 2%, and the expected market risk premium is 10%. Let's start with the variables given in the question. So we have a beta of 1.2, we have risk-free rate of 2%, we have market risk premium, which is also called equity risk premium, which is the market return minus risk free rate is given as 10%. So what's our CAPAM formula? Our expected return or our cost of equity is risk free rate plus beta multiplied by market return minus risk free rate. I know that market return minus risk free rate is called market risk premium or equity risk premium. Therefore, we can rewrite the formula as our cost of equity is equal to risk free rate plus beta multiplied by market risk premium. Let's substitute our expected return or cost of equity is equal to risk-free rate of 2% plus a beta of 1.2 multiplied by market risk premium of 10%. This will give us our cost of equity equal to 14%.